I probably need to cut this volume down on this TV on this first four to eight. Let me see. I didn't get a chance to come this morning and talk to y'all about this foolishness um, because it kept saying that my um, it kept saying my connection was poor or whatever. So I went, I got home to the internet that I pay for. Um, and decided to talk to y'all before I could them. So let me tell you about some people. Okay, because this right here tickled me. So there are some people in your life that won't do something or are not motivated until you do something. And it's funny to me because uh, jealousy is their motivation. And I was talking to my husband and a friend of mine last night and I said... That's funny to me how jealousy uh, is some people's motivation. Like, they don't want the stuff till you got the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Or they, they're not going to finish their project till they find out you don't finish yours. And so jealousy actually is going to push somebody to be great. But those of you who make people jealous, I'm talking to y'all today. Because what I need for you to do is I need you to keep on doing what you're doing. I need you to put in some extra time on your projects because we're going to help make some of these jealous folks great because some of them again are not motivated until you do something ain't that crazy like you say you finish your book and that do something to them and make them want to go right you're a writer you're supposed to be writing anyway you doing something you're supposed to be you know working on it, your project anyway but it's so funny to me how a lot of people are not going to do nothing with their life till you're doing something with yours. Some of them, when you get a house, then they got to go looking for a house. They won't even think about no house till you got your house. And now, some people going to go get in debt, uh, you know, doing crazy stuff because they're trying to keep up with you. But I realized that ain't really no bad thing. You know what I'm saying? First, I was like, this is ridiculous. But this actually, you making people be great. You like you provoking people to get out their comfort zone. And I think that's a good idea. You ask me my opinion. That's a good idea that people can't be comfortable around you. It's a good idea. I mean, that is wonderful. Because if you're going out and do something, it's going to provoke them to go out and do something. Now, I ain't told people to go get in debt and nothing like that. But I'm... I'm surprised or tickled by the fact that some people need for you to be doing something in order for them to want to do something. You get a new pair of shoes, they want a new pair of shoes. You paint your house, then for some reason they want to go look to see what kind of paint they can find. I'm like, oh, okay, well, if I'm making you be great, then let's do this here. So the people that's being great, I need y'all to come on and start pulling out some stuff so we can get these people who are on the sidelines in position to where they need to be because I didn't know I had that much power to provoke people in their jealousy they you know what I'm saying like you get your hair cut they get their hair cut you um your marriage doing good and so they want to try to make theirs better because they see yours and at first I thought oh they make they're giving compliments that's what I thought at first um, but then when I saw the motivation behind it, so you can tell when people, uh, what people, um, motives are based on how they act about your stuff, uh, how they say, you know, uh, that they are excited or happy for you. You can look at their face and tell whether they're really happy for you or not. But again, some people are going to be driven by you. So I need for all of you with this greatness on the inside of you, I need you to disturb your neighbor. I need you to disturb your sisters and brothers. I need you to go to church and disturb the choir members. I need you to disturb the uh, what, whatever you do. If you're on the usher board, I need you to disturb the ushers to where they want to be great. I need for you, if you can sing, I need you to disturb somebody's spirit so they can be, because some of them not going to do nothing until you do something. No, y'all think that's crazy, but that's how some of the people that I see work. When Princess announced that she getting ready to do something, 
then or she did something or accomplished something, then all of a sudden it struck up something, some fire, something up under people's feet. And I'm like, oh, oh, I, I see. Okay, <laughs> this how you gonna do. So if that's the case, I'm telling you, I need everybody that's great already. Everybody should be great, but everybody's already doing what you're doing. And some of y'all doing a little bit of it. I'm going to need you to do more of it. I want you to disturb some people. And if you're willing to join me in this, I'm going to disturb some people's peace. I'm going to need y'all to come on in here and disturb some people. Y'all hear me? I want you to come on be great. If you're a cook... I'm going to need you to out, just cook your behind off for Thanksgiving. Make a good pie. Make somebody go home and make a pie or try to figure out a recipe for themselves. Because some of these folks is jealous of you. And that's what that is. You, they are driven by jealousy. And so they want what you have. And so what they're going to do is they're going to go out here and they're going to try to get this stuff. Again, I'm not telling folks to go into debt. I'm just saying, if this is what motivates somebody to be great, if they got to get jealous of you in order for them to walk in the gifts that God has called them to walk in, then I need some of y'all to come on and help me make some people mad on today. So, how I'm participating is, I've already started on my next book. So, for whoever get jealous about that, and that made you mad, and you need to go right now, sit down somewhere and get in the corner, I hope that you will do so. Uh, I, I hope to be announcing another book before December is out. If you find out I got two or three and you're mad about that, and that's going to provoke you to get in somewhere in your chair and sit down, then praise God. I'm glad about it. If I sing in the choir, we're not going to fight about this stuff now. If I sing in the choir and you like a song that I'm leading and you got to go find you some songs to lead because you, you know, trying to show princess that you can do such and such. Okay, I'm glad. That's going to make you be great. We're going to let you lead your song. I just need for you to take that jealousy and do something else with it. Because if it ain't causing you to be better uh, and it's causing you to be slow, or uh, lost, then we got to get that out of you. So we're going to use it for the good. Y'all didn't know we was going to turn it around, did you? We're going to use that jealousy for the good. We're going to provoke you to be great. So y'all, don't worry about nobody being jealous of you. Uh, just keep on doing great things. Keep on uh, blowing people's minds. And if that make people get up out of their comfort zone, then praise God.